Do you guys want to watch a fake Darman video? Evil TikToker pranks blind woman goes too far. What happens next is shocking. Oh, are we gonna be shocked? Do you guys fuck with Darman? I don't know. I've dabbled. Yeah, he knows. He's a man of good Wait, taste. Wait, who's that guy you're talking about? The American something, some guy. What? Disarming. Oh the. Oh 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 Charlie. Charlie yeah. went and he met up with Dale. Wait, did he put an actual video? I was an extra. Disclaimer. The actions performed in this video are for informative entertainment purposes only. Do not try anything in this video. Okay. Oh, That's, guy. yeah, oh, you've seen it, yeah, of course. Yeah. Short numbers, but I was running. Oh. Here, in Florida, hunting the people. I just want you to take me to the nearest gas station. Okay, no problem. Tampa is one of the most dangerous cities in the world. We've already gone over some of the most elite self-defense techniques. And today we brought out the expert. We're going to be doing it in an interesting fashion. So it's going to be the three of us participating in the formal training from Dale of the Detroit Urban Survival Threat Management Group Turbo Mode. I'm basically the worst participant. So this is beginner level. This is intermediate. Rex has formal training in every martial arts on the planet, special ops, secret forces. So basically, if I'm coming at him, it's gonna be defending against the middle schooler. Caleb, probably like your average criminal. And then Rex, <laughs> average you're getting criminal. by the boogeyman. That's ultra nightmare mode. So Level we got Dale here, we're gonna really put him to the ultimate test today. Nah, Detroit Earth's Bevel Training, here in Florida. All right, so. When is he fully booked? The clock, then? Oh, he's fully booked. Let's do the job. Yeah, really. Start the clock, this is a real clock. So, for all you volunteer ATF agents, um, there's a chamber flag. This is a real gun. However, come, we got no live rounds here. Everything's been checked. No live rounds in the building. No live rounds. This chamber flag actually goes into the barrel, so you know there's nothing in there. Stick my finger in there. You want to go ahead and check it? Clear. This homie 100%. I mean, he he's doing like ATF beams and shit. This is one of Charlie's friends. He's he knows his shit. He's he's an interesting guy already. I can I can tell. Oh yeah, she's empty. All right. So we're gonna do. <laughs> Just, bro, look at Charlie's response. Oh yeah, she's empty. Oh yeah, she's empty. All right. Very good. Good good opera. Good opsec. <laughs> so we're gonna do what we did in our video. We're gonna start with uh, assailants coming at you. And since it's Florida, maybe they're you a little under the influence of bath salts. So they're a little wacky. They got the gun at you. How do you get out of this situation? They don't want to just bargain. They want to kill you. So okay. it's disarming them, getting away from them. It's going to be me, then Caleb doing it, then Rex. And then after okay. that, we'll try and do it to you. In okay. Techniques. All right, take your weapon, Charles. Give me the... And, and go stand. Huh? Why did they use a real Glock instead of, like, just a fake yeah, one? Like, over there. there. Yep. That's Charlie's sovereign citizen friend. Right. <laughs> uh, where's your uh, kids? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I'm I'm sure. playing. Yeah, so, so, so you know oh wood God. fire? Okay. Let's try okay. Okay. Same. Your kids. Yeah, yeah they did right. fire. <laughs> <laughs> but when it fired, I was off to the side. So the re back. reason why is because when I saw the weapon coming, I stepped offside, offline, and redirected. And that's when he actually fired. So he already made the, ten he already made the um, decision to fire as soon as it came out, which does happen. Okay, Charlie, take two steps back. Oh, there we go. Oh. And then, uh, now what would happen? Yeah, so look at his shoes, bro. I yeah. love, I love yeah, Charlie so much. Look at, look at this fit. This is the most. <laughs> white tee with the Nike short. He's got the, the, the signature white uh, the signature white tee. He's got the longest Nike shorts. I mean, <laughs> so long. Knee level. Okay. Yeah, as, yeah, at knee level. The most Florida man on the planet. This is the <laughs> this is the the Florida man uniform, okay? He's wearing those like sketcher ass shoes. I don't even know what this is. Classic Florida drip with the backwards cap. From yeah, here. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's what I was wondering. So if I'm coming at you and I'm like showing and I'm right yeah, down here, but I have so much time. Yes, and I would get shot, probably. <laughs> but because I'm going forward, I'll probably not get shot a lot. 
Whereas if uh, I went backwards, oh. Would... Wow, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, what do you mean? I'll get shot, but not a lot. Oh, okay. Uh, that's... <laughs> take a couple. I, I mean, I don't know. It's like ur urban survival training, more like, you know, you're still dying. <laughs> urban survival dying, but not by a lot of bullets. Probably get shot more. What you're doing, everything you do when you're disarming or whenever you are defending yourself is either increasing or decreasing your likelihood of survivability. And then if I'm back, mm -hmm. yeah, just, yeah. <laughs> so got one shot in. Yeah, we got shot at least once. Hey, sorry to hit you with this greasy yeah. jump scare. I just wanted to quickly say that Dale was very honest and openly admitted that when there is distance between attacker and victim, you're just going to get shot if you try and fight back. So we didn't do more of these scenarios where we had distance on the victim, nor did we simulate like running away while shooting because it's the same situation, which Dale openly concedes. You will just get shot if your attacker gets distance from you or already has it. You're just going to get fucking blasted if you try and fight back. So uh, we didn't simulate more of those. Going forward, we only simulated the scenarios where the attacker was right up in the victim's nutsack. Wait, you get it there. Let's take it to yeah, the next one. Next, next step up. This is the one we got 139, we have 133 million views uh, right now on this one, which is the guns to your chest. Yeah, and what yeah, this is yeah. for is you have to get contact with them. Oh God. You have to get contact and you have to make sure they don't go away. Otherwise they'll just run away from you or they'll pull out a gun or a knife. So you go like this, that's how you get their stuff. You take things from them. And the other reason they do this is because they don't trust you. So they're not gonna sit there and go empty your pockets, I trust you, I'm not gonna to touch you because I'm scared you'll take my gun. Criminals are not scared you're gonna take the gun, ever. They don't believe, you can even tell them I'll take the gun, they're like, I wish you'd try, go ahead and try to take my gun. <laughs> oh, wow, he got, oh, I tried, I really did. <laughs> it was right here, and the guy puts the gun here. Wait, but like, okay, but he pulled the back, which is like kind of the magic bullet to, to <laughs> The killing Detroit urban survival man is always just, just back it up. You just back up and then fire. You know what I mean? Is that his counter? Yeah, it's Dale just cool. proved that grabbing the gun is dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Except he's an expert. That's why he's able to he's able to tactically pull the gun away last second. Whereas others can't. Use it. We just walk on. Wow, he's so fast. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, he pulled the trigger with my own finger. That's he for GSD. That makes sure there's a uh, gunshot residue on your hand, not on mine. What? Damn. That's so dumb. You 100% would have gunshot residue regardless. No. If you are shooting him with his own finger, you are going to get gunshot residue. What do you mean, dude? <laughs> okay, that's bullshit, dude. What the f I have no idea what you said. Uh, he's memeing. Oh. Yeah, from here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we got. You're actually gonna shoot. All right. Man. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can do it. Let me try again. Ooh, shit. All right. Okay. All right. All right. And then I'm pretty much screwed. Yeah. If they try to bring. If they try to bring it back, like they're trying to pull back. Yeah. All Tell right. me what you want. What do you want me to do? Oh, uh, give me money. <laughs> got you first. I got you first. I got you first. <laughs> <laughs> he tried though, he did try. That was close. If we run that back in slow motion, you will see. That's one ping. He's like half joking, but he's very serious about this stuff for the record. Like, because there was a guy, there was like a jujitsu kid or something that went, like, a other. Like, there was like a trained fighter guy who went and, like, kind of exposed him. So then he, like, made a very serious video doing an expose, a reverse expose on the other guy. To be like, oh. oh, actually, uh, you know, urban survival here. Like, we have the full video here, and you were crying like a bitch. Like, <laughs> imagine two deals, <laughs> two guys passing the gun back. Like one you didn't even shock him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, they're just like flipping wow, wow, over wow. and over. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah. I feel like that Resident Evil clip. Oh yeah, no, he his entire f vibe is off of Resident Evil, straight up. That's like he they do like the the. I mean, all of it, dust is what it's called. Detroit Urban Survival Training, dust. D-U-S-T. So like, everything oh. is like that. Did I clip? He was ready for it. He's like, I know there's a second block. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, dude, 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 you're so, yeah, you're right. Okay, wait, hold on. I don't remember who it is. Gun, gun fight? It's, it's like the classic, what was it?
what was it? It was like two guys like shooting in the air, boom, 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 like yeah. shooting around each other and then fighting. What was it? It was like gun kata. Dude. Oh, this, 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 this. Yeah, this one. This is incredible. Here, here, we'll speed it up to like the actual. Oh, here it is. It's the most anime thing. They're just like fucking. It's like wushu. That's what this is. They're just doing wushu. Why would he? Why would he be a zombie? Synopsis: A Mexican army team supervised by BSAA Captain Chris Redfield investigates a mansion linked to a BOW smuggling operation, which is infested with zombies infected with a new viral strain. He finds Glenn Arise, a black market dealer wanted by Haven't the Haven't you already learned in like zombie stuff? It's always the real villains are always the humans. The people. True, true. We are the okay. villains. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one that we critique heavily, the, the behind the back one. I, would I, feel be, like I will be genuinely surprised if I don't pull this off, y'all. I want to be honest with you. Yeah. All right, I'm your hostage. Take me where you want to go. This is usually what you do. That was pretty good. Let's <laughs> <laughs> so be back up. up. I'll yeah. use my Dillman skills in that one. That one right there. I just you can't that. count in the back. He would just drop. Oh. 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 Well, he gave he gave like a kind of shitty explanation for why like people come up close to you when they're robbing you because he's like, oh, because I don't trust them. Okay, except you would shoot them anyway. Like you would just, if you don't trust them, you would just shoot them. You know, because so that doesn't make sense. I don't think anyone would like come up that close when they're robbing you. Only in movies do they do that. And the reason why they do that in movies is because, you know, you can fight back. Yes, I know Gun Kata. I know. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, <laughs> let's step back so I can get some more. All right. Take me hostage, like grab me up so you can move me against my will. Yeah. All right. Ooh, oh, shit. Here. Boys, I'm screwed. There's a medulla shot right there. Yeah, yeah. All medulla. Right. Now, I'm going to resist a little hard. Yeah. yeah. Caleb, I thought you were good at this. Back in the head. <laughs> he forgot he could fire again. <laughs> he didn't go for the eyes. Can you shoot it? I just popped up. <laughs> eyes in a soft way. In a, in a more realistic way, you would actually remove the eyes. So, for the behind the back, though. So, here, okay, we'll use the. We'll do this, I guess. I feel like if you were leading someone, you'd be more behind them. So what would you do? No, you, you, they would just run away. <laughs> They're not going to let you do that. So a SEAL team guy. I love, I, I love his running. Like, <laughs> look, he, he is not the most athletic man. <laughs> look at him running away. Watch. I feel like if you were leading someone, you'd be more behind them. So what would you do? No, you, you, they would just run away. <laughs> <laughs> that has emo protection. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> They're not gonna let you do that. So a SEAL team guy told me to do this, and he would hold the person and extract it from the house like this. Because um, <clears throat> if you don't control the person, they will simply run away. Well, there's no yeah, but didn't you shoot them? Well, stop! You're, you're messing you're with their his blood. training. That's the thing. They don't want to shoot you. Just... What? Play, okay. Play with him. <laughs> if they don't want to shoot you, then running away is better. Yeah, exactly. Because if you actually like attempt to disarm them, they're definitely going to shoot you, possibly on accident. Uh -huh. So technically, running away would even be better in that situation. <laughs> anyway. The way they survive, that's it, right? Like you have a shotgun on somebody. You, you get a lesson with them. Fuck, right? Well, again, you would have to number one have the intention to shoot. True. If you are professional. You'd have to have the legal reason to shoot. Or if you're surrounded by other officers or civilians and the person runs, you can't shoot because you're you feel the fire is not clear. Right. So there's lots of reasons why a professional would shoot. When a person has the person hot, hot Who's a professional? Like what does he mean? Like an assassin? <laughs> like if there is an assassin. A professional hitman. Hit yeah. Like who what do you like a professional robber? Is that what he means? Because I don't think a professional robber gives a shit. I don't get it. Wait, is he teaching how to like escape cops? Is that what he's trying to teach? I thought he's teaching how to survive robberies. Also, cops definitely shoot if you run. Like, that's true. That's a 100%. Like, I can't speak for the criminal community, but I can tell you, cops 100%. Oh, he made a Short second video of him explaining oh him getting God, owned. This is editing though. 
Yeah, no, he's. I love. I love this man so much. Oh, yeah. they, they usually probably are giving away. Now that they go around telling people, "Hey, I was, you know, I ran away from someone with a gun behind me <laughs> yesterday," <laughs> right? But the reality is, it's just really hard to shoot someone moving laterally. It takes a lot of training. So the reason why you have to have contact when you have a weapon is because they will leave, or in the case of initial contact, because you want to you want to you want to limit what they can do. Guns, knives. They can grab a chair. They can grab a weapon. Grab a brick. There's a lot of things they can do to attack you. Yeah, let me do the uh, let me do the shotgun into a tank. My eyes pretty let me see you. <laughs> How fucked is it right now? Stop Caleb for us real quick. All right, so let's do um, want to do, want to do third person rescue. Uh, let's oh, stop being stopping an active shooter. There's the. Uh, if I try to do anything, you're gonna fire that gun, okay? Yeah, I gotta be honest with you, I got a mirror. Stuff. You do? Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be completely honest with you, Dale. Right. If I try anything, if I try anything, you can see me in the mirror. Yeah. Oh, you're blocking it. You did the yeah, there's a human wall here. Yeah, right. The dancing area. If I try to do anything, you're gonna shoot the gun, okay? okay. <laughs> you shot the gun. I think you shot yourself. <laughs> well, I tried to go like this. He was. He was really trying. He was really trying. So all you internet experts, he knew it was going to happen. He is a talk. How the f would like a school shooter let you get that close behind? Shoot the gun. Okay? What are you like the school shooter's best friend or something? Like, how are you? Just avoid his aggro. Range. Yeah. If you're in, if you're in the presence of a school shooter, stand very close behind them within striking distance. School shooters. They don't have, they have this like weird thing where they can't sense when someone is directly behind them. No, this is the demonstration only for the professional assassin. You have to unlock this skill point. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do this yet if you're an amateur. I think you shot yourself. <laughs> well, I tried to go like this. He was, he was really trying. He was really trying. So all you internet experts, he knew it was going to happen. He is a tough guy. This guy's actually strong and... Uh, athletic guy, a wrestler, and I'm telling you, uh, most people have been thrown onto their face with that. Just a little bit of pressure I put right there, it slammed down. Look at Caleb's eye. Like, <laughs> ready? <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Oh, your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> just took him down. This is adorable. He's going full wrestling hey, mode. No, no, I'm, I'm not actually going to I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> My eyes so, do hurt though, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, so <laughs> his body to red. He's getting, he's getting pissed. You can tell. Dude, I love that Charlie did like the baby mode where he was like, yeah, I'm just gonna put the gun on you. And he got like he got like tackled he got like lightly tapped twice and he's like, Yeah, f that. All right, time for the other dudes to do it. That's awesome. I can't wait for the third guy. I can't wait for the nightmare so mode now. When someone does get on you, you just you have to you have He would have definitely got my eyes though, for sure. Yeah. If, if he wasn't holding back. Let me try. Yeah, exactly the same. Well I'm not I'm not going over eyes. He's gonna make a video explaining this video one hundred percent. Oh yeah, there's gonna be a there's gonna be a rebuttal like all right, uh Dale from so what happened? Dale from Detroit Survival here. I made him cry like a bitch. I made Caleb cry like a bitch. They didn't put that in the video. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Wait, is that like... I legit lost vision in my right arm, though. Like, I broke my right arm, so who gives a shit that I broke my left? That's what... Yeah, exactly. It's the same with eyes. What? That's what's moving. still got <laughs> Good? You need to think about it. I've only shot once. So when we do the full, oh, the full disarm. Only shot once. Oh, oh, shit. It's like MacGruber. Why is he wearing a bow and lava? I think he wanted to hide his face. Yeah, oh. that's in all the videos. Oh, he's in other videos of his? Yeah, he does all like the gun stuff for Charlie. He's the gun friend. He's the gun guy, gun pro. Interesting dude. Nobody's gonna have eyes. Where I just want to point out, Rex still has his eyes. I'm pissed. <laughs> he made an agreement prior to our arrangement, which you failed That's to do. Fine, I get only Rex. Yeah. What's that? Let me see your taxes. You said, let me see your taxes. You just shot him twice. <laughs> I'm the IRS. You said criminal. I don't know. <laughs>
this man is a libertarian, okay? This is the this is definitely a libertarian gun weave right here. <laughs> He's a white collar criminal. I know you Are you wearing this vest in real life? Do you wear this out in your I wear this at all times. Okay. So, this in, never comes off. In the shower. Shower. With your wife. I have I have a sleeping one. With my wife. Does your wife have one too? <laughs> got it. Got it. I have a sleeping version. Got it. It's softer. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright, so you're a criminal and you're robbing. Hey, let me see your glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, Here. And I'm going to show you what. I, I left my finger in the sugar guard on purpose. Yeah, I'm going slow. Because I want to show this. Because it doesn't. you don't show enough of this. Yeah. So a lot of people just zip their hand out. If you leave your finger in here, this it does work. Okay, it hurts a lot. So if we go here, push hard. This gives you leverage. So in a situation where law enforcement or a civilian has, to bro, this video is making it seem like Dale's ideas are respectable. I'm just gonna point that out there. If anything, it's making it seem like he actually is legit. I'm just gonna point that out there. Okay, I, I, do we, do you not feel like that now? I mean, it's because they, they... It's so specific. Such specific scenarios. I mean, they took away the scenario that it counters him. Which yeah, is, we which is taking one step back. backwards, right? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Giving, like, full control of the situation, kind of. No, for sure. Especially because, like, uh, you know, it's just very simple to just keep your distance. Mm -hmm. Control the fair of the barrel of the weapon. You can control the entire gun. As long as you have this, you can control the gun. If you try to grab the hands, you can't control anything. You can actually drop back, yep. So the criminal will always have the upper hand if you grab the hands instead of grabbing the barrel. So, right. so in your training, do they also teach you that same thing? Because I know that you- No, they don't do that. <laughs> this is for uh, criminal. This is, okay, so- No police officer's gonna be like. All right, here's the thing about what I do and what, what this is for, okay? All right. My world is completely different than everybody watching this video right now, okay? I go into a restaurant, I know where I'm sitting, how I'm sitting, what I'm looking at. I don't sit with my back to the door. I don't put myself in any situation where I am at a extreme disadvantage. I probably wouldn't ever be in this scenario because I would be drawn before they ever come to me. And it's just that simple. However, <laughs> People don't live their lives like that. They don't live in like condition yellow. They're all like kind of walking around like nothing's the problem. That's fine. However, this is a worst case scenario. Dale is absolutely correct when he tells you, hey, if somebody is threatening your life. I mean, it could go either way. Either he's describing that he has PTSD, okay? Or he's like, like a libertarian LARPer guy. He said condition yellow, Jesus. It's called sitting in the combat seat. Hey, look, he's, he's Charlie's friend. I'm not gonna make fun of him. Asking you for something, material possessions, nothing is worth your life. Your credit cards, you can cancel them on your phone. They stole your car. phone, <laughs> who cares, okay? Give them whatever they want. If somebody is going to kill you, there is no question of material objects anymore. Now, when it comes to being in somebody's space, when he talks about like, Hey man, what's up? Let me talk to you real quick. This type of stuff is absolutely real. Um, I deal with it all the time. I have a former friend who actively thinks like this, and while not libertarian, turned out to be an alt-right conspiracy theory follower. I mean... Um, stuff that he's talked about with like, wound channels. I've seen people get shot in the head at point blank and live. And what shock you see people live, wasn't it? When you shot, like, wow, how could you live with a bullet in your head? You never know, just bullets oh, do yeah. crazy things. Yeah. No, the, the bottom line is, um, this type of scenario, um... Are you guys trying to leave? You can leave whenever you want. I'm, I'm sorry for keeping you guys here. You can just bail whenever. All right, bye. All right, peace. <sighs> You're not gonna. You're not gonna finish the. You're not gonna finish the video. We have time. Well, Until like, we get to you, we can finish the video. Wow. Yeah, we can watch. We have to do that, you know. Dude, are you guys just swagged out like this normally, or is this like a special occasion? Both of you look like fucking TikTokers right now. He's a TikToker. You look like. I don't even have TikTok. You look like, you know, fashion TikTokers. What is that? What, what's going on? Is there a special occasion, or are you just like normally dressed like this? Stepping out for today. Wait, for real? I mean, 
Just pants, shirt. I mean, all that stuff. Pants and a shirt. This is the best dressed I've seen Twitch streamers in any environment. We don't go outside. True. That holds weight. Okay. All right. Let's just let's just keep going. I I am a professional. I'm just gonna say it. I am trained. I would never do any of this stuff. Everything that I do is verbal commands, and I'm gonna take every precaution that I can. He's 100% a cop, by the way. He's not a. I don't think he's like a Green Beret or anything. Or maybe he might have been. He might have been in the military, but he's definitely a cop. Before I ever make contact with him. So this is strictly based on people with virtually no experience. All right, so. I hate so here's the training. All right, so when someone pulls a gun and they put it in the vehicle, and the only reason they put it in the vehicle is. What? Yeah. He reminds me of a dad who was just a LARPer. No, I don't think he's a LARPer. He's got like, he's got like, uh, I mean, I don't know. He, he's got like fucking uh, ex-military energy for sure. But I, I feel like he's a cop now, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, let's see what he's going to do now. And power and control over you. They could do it here, right? It's pretty scary. But this just feels so much better. Right. To put what? it on you. Really? And get this. Ah, that I feel, feel better, better about your fear right now. Oh, I'm so liking good. it. It's, it's, I'm happy about this. Right. I feel powerful right now. And well, then you, you feel, you, times you feel very scared. Like, oh my God. Now again, if you could just let him out of the car, you would. But you get the feeling like this guy is going to kill you. Or he's not going to let you take your family with you. Like, hey, can I just get my kids? My, my child needs to be protected. Oh, my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he plays with Peter too much. He does. He does. Your son needs I can't to be get him off. Can yeah, <laughs> he's addicted at this. Point. You have to keep your son with you. You should see how many Pokemon cards he buys. Oh my terrible. god! So, <laughs> we'll do here, we'll do here. Okay. Yep. You're in the All right. Wait, whose kids are we? Uh, you, Dale's you, kids. You're right. Right. Papa Dale, Dale, save us. You guys are the Dale's. All right. Those kids. What a Jesus! <laughs> oh my fingers! That doesn't feel good. All right. Same thing. If I, if I try anything, he's gonna shoot. Yeah. Oh my god! You just killed his kid. <laughs> you just you just killed your kids, Papa Dale. What the? F <laughs> Yo, that's f up. Papa Dale's. First of all, Papa Dale's eardrum gone. Okay, like every killed his child, blew out his ear. He's discombobulated. No shot. He has like any balance right now. He's probably fucking. I don't even know if we can see at that point. Damn! <laughs> Jesus! You killed your, your, your I will avenge your son. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. When disarming gunman, you still need your receipt. Yeah. Don't break first. the law. Okay. Click it or tick it. So you don't know it's coming? Yeah. Right. No, you, you got the gun on me. You're, you're controlling me. Tell me to go wherever you want me to go. Take me to the car. <laughs> <laughs> Middle Dale. Jimmy has a hole in him now. There is absolutely nothing I can do to take that gun back. What do you want? I just want you to take me to the nearest gas station. Okay, no problem. I got I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't claim that they're 100% effective anyway. It well, just gives uh, you a best chance. Well, all you're doing is increasing, decreasing likelihood yeah. of survivability, right? Like a seatbelt, like a seatbelt. Yeah. You know, you're, you're you're increasing or decreasing like if you don't have a seatbelt on, it's going to increase gum. survivability. Why is this? That was a wow. lot more painful when he did it compared to when you did it. Matt. I'll tell you I'm right shocked. Now. I can't believe that. This stuff actually hurts. Doesn't that, that crazy? Didn't feel good at all. When you're roaming the streets of Detroit, dude, Charlie looks like he just does not want to do any of this. Okay, he's like, it's my video, so I have to appear in it. But also at the same time, it's kind of obvious that he is. <laughs> he wants to pull a David Dobrik in this one. He's just like, I do not want to fucking. <laughs> I'll put the other homies up front. You know, they can they can try to they can try to duke it out with Dale. Right now, do criminals see Dale and just like turn and run from whatever they're doing? They're <laughs> they like, come up like, like, hey, walk down the street. They got a selfie. Let's get a selfie, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love your video. I stopped robbing people last month just because of you. I, I turned away from crime. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just straight and narrow now. Man. Charlie, you got to come try these so I don't have to hold it again. I think my shoulders are like, so. <laughs> No, you should come try it. You'll love it. Yeah. Oh my the God. pain is good. It's a I'm good, never gonna it's a good pain. pain. Commit crime. <laughs> <laughs> I love the jet ski, Dale. The jet ski. The jet ski in the back. You can have it. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Are you a convert, Charlie? Uh, I'm not. So I'm not convinced a normal person's gonna pull it off 
that efficiently. But if you're going for Dale, I think he's got a good chance. <laughs> at but, beating but, ass. but you have to admit, he's got the a basics of the, the, the car along. I think that <laughs> if you see the mustache, you know what time it is. Especially the ID guys, uh, earpiece. Yeah. Yeah. If you see bone conduction, this is okay. First of all, this is not from Star Wars. This is not from Star Wars. Bone conduction is pretty sick. This is bone conduction. This is the future. What? God. You can use it Did you, you start right? wearing that? What the f is, is it like speaking into his bones? Like, what does that mean? He can read the future through the vibrations in his bones. Oh. It doesn't go in his ear. It just like speaks through the bones. Those are like 25 years old. I'm gonna go. Oh, you got, oh, Uber's here? Yeah. All right, bye guys. Bye bye. Thank you for bringing my PC back. I will need it back. All right, we're back. What? Um, shut it, it's fine. Okay. You can also put a pitchfork to your skull and hear it inside of your head. This man. Did you start <laughs> wearing, I don't think so. I haven't earned it. It's bone conduction. <laughs> So you're gonna shoot if I try to do something. Oh, sorry, Danny. You're dead. And then uh, <laughs> we have the gun here. Text. No, no, you don't. Text. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hang on, hang on. After her appearance on the Hassan Abbey broadcast, 39 Dad was last seen on January 23rd, 2022. We believe she's running away from the cops because of her several jaywalking offenses. If seen, do not hesitate to call 911. True. The Libertarian's gun handling. Skills are actually too good for him to be a cop, maybe. Make a fine point. Continue. Uh, single leg takedown, just hurting Caleb. You come here to the bones and push back. <laughs> oh! <laughs> it seems like the most important you can, thing you can do as a criminal is wear, like, goggles. <laughs> <laughs> you would need a helmet. I'm gonna get some steam pump. I'm gonna wear just a welding helmet, honestly. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we need. Like that. So this, and I'm sure. It, so there was a viral video, and there was a guy who went to his course like, like a month ago. Doing like he's a demo. He demo. He didn't go to the course. He just came to. Ooh, he's addressing it. He's addressing it. That's interesting. Okay. Um, it's crystals for cops. Listen, the only thing that needs to be addressed on the stream is the top of the hour ad break where there's a 60 second ad break at the top of every hour. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, baby. Yeah, that's right. You can subscribe for $5. You can subscribe for free with a Twitch prime or you can, you know, get gifted a sub. That is if you're lucky, if not, you make your own luck by subscribing on your own. Okay. Here's the one minute ad break now. Dude, he's got an iPad watch. Also, I'm gonna pee. He just came for one day. Okay, so for a free class. Okay, yeah. and then he was backing up, shooting mm -hmm. on the way. Right. So in that situation, there's not a whole lot you can do, right? So if someone's coming at you. No, no, it, so we were right here, okay? okay? And so what happens is you're the robber and you're gonna back up and you're gonna pull the trigger, mm -hmm. right? If I try to grab the gun, Right. okay? So you're the robber, what do you want? I want your wife and kids. <laughs> oh my God. So it's never going to change, and it didn't change for him. Well, that's not uh, fair. If you've seen Charlie run, we know he's not getting away. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's what happened in the video that you saw. Now, what you saw later, what you saw when he backed up and did that, is what he did was he went like this. First of all, he'd already tried that. And what I just did to you, right, is exactly what happened to him. I didn't, there was people in the room. So there's, there's seniors back here, there's kids over here. So we're not gonna be doing a full on uh, gun disarm with, with people over here training. So we're just doing the basic, you know, gun disarm. I said, well, you know, you can back up. You're still gonna lose the weapon. So what he did was he backed up in the second one and then they, he shot like right here and then I went in and took the gun from him. He edited the, the film so that part's not there. So it just shows like he goes like this, boom, on the second one and then it cuts. Cause I feel like, it, and I've said this before too, here, we'll do it this way. If, well, no, no, you can face no. me. Like, if, <laughs> so if I'm a criminal and I'm like super anti, super trigger happy, if I'm mm -hmm. just faster and I see you move and I am you can't see you, you just saw it. Look, look, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Do it again. Well, hold on, not on me though, because that hurt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they faster. They're probably more efficient, I think. My, 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 my <laughs> argument is my action is a lot smaller than your action. Right. And that's so I have you, I have an increase in percentage. You, right. You think of, that? Of possibility. Not possible. Watch. Put it up there. So what you're what, what you're doing right now is you're concentrating on what? 
Trinity. Because <laughs> right. I, I intend to kill you. <laughs> so that's not going to happen. Is it done? Right. And so now I'm anticipating you're trying to pull back instead of actually rob me or something, mm -hmm. which that's what this is for. And so from here, it wouldn't matter. Hey, Charlie from the future here. This is one of those situations where I feel like I just wasn't fast enough, nor was Caleb to actually make it work. This is one of those situations I feels quite unrealistic, where you're assuming the victim is as fast as Dale. Whereas the attacker could very well be able to react to your movement. The guy in the video is a jiu-jitsu student, so he's already pretty trained. So he's definitely got quicker reaction speed than we do. And I feel like this would always happen if you were just going up against someone faster, where they can just back up and pull the gun away, as it happened in that video. And there's nothing you can do. You're just chasing them, getting shot the whole time. So one of the things, reasons why people say, well, they'll say things like, oh, I can use the other hand. Okay, now that's true, except... Uh, when a person has a weapon, they really believe in the weapon. So that's why you hear, you don't really see people have a pistol and go, oh, oh. They're good. Because they're not they're smart. Good. They're good. I'm 6'2", that was a good kick. That was nuts. <laughs> they can come up and go, I You look at the cop version of Neil deGrasse Tyson? No, dude, Neil deGrasse Tyson has more legitimacy than that. Random people mugging you don't want to kill you and he's teaching robbery defense? Yeah, random people that uh, are mugging you don't want to kill you, which is precisely why it's better to just give them everything you have and let them get away. The best defense against a f***ing robbery is by giving them everything you want. Everything they want, okay? Like, you're, you're ridiculous. Uh, uh, the, the best defense, like, the, the thing that you learn from this man, if you tried to do in a robbery situation, you 100% have a likelihood of an accidental misfire that ends up killing you or the other person or someone else, okay? He's right, like he, he, I mean, I guess he's not right, but, but my point is, this shit is, is I think technically way worse uh, because like, one, I don't think robbers will come up to you and like literally fucking put the gun in your body, okay? I don't think they ever would do that. And uh, considering that they are not going to do that, you know, uh, you making sudden movements is probably going to scare them into shooting you. Oh, I kick you in the face. Okay, right, right. But in reality, guess what? Right? They, they, they could. They could they start with a pistol here. Like, right? But in reality... <laughs> so I have a scenario for you, Dale. I want, I want you to role play with me right now. Mm -hmm. All right? You're out with your wife. You went to Troy. You went, you're in Somerset Mall. Okay? You just went shopping. You had a great time. Yeah, you know this area. Yeah, of course. And I'm an armed assailant. I got <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, my side. Goes over and grabs a gun. <laughs> you gotta grab a gun. Have fun dealing with the self-defense trial. I'd rather give up my wallet. What? Yeah, I mean, it's not even have fun with the self-defense trial. Have fun fucking dying. Yeah. Are you guys perhaps in a sewer with a rat <laughs> <laughs> and some yeah. mutant turtles I'm just, I'm by any chance? What are you gonna do? I what are you gonna do? My are you gonna brothers know that I have the, the shell and they would come and rescue me. You have a side. Where'd you get the side from? It's no Detroit. I always have a side. Oh, <laughs> ah, yes, of course. <laughs> I thought he said he knew Detroit. <laughs> Everyone has these. Yeah. Give me your side, Dale. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. The only way to beat nunchucks. <laughs> oh, yeah. These are, um, are, these, are these legal here? I, That's a good question, actually. Oh, oh, shit! I came out of nowhere. <laughs> you know, when we bought them, I thought there was a 90% chance this was going to happen. <laughs> Where the fuck is this been, Dale? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Have you seen them on the website? No! It's on his second channel, How to Defend Yourself in Feudal Area, uh, <laughs> Japan. You are in Feudal Japan or China? Here, we have something for you. He's just going to impress the criminal away. <laughs> oh, that works. Really. No, seriously. You so say you wanted my wallet, do you? <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate you coming down, man, and hurting, hurting Caleb. He is the widest man, dude. He is, like, so fucking wide, it's crazy. And myself. <laughs> Thank you. It's great training. I think it was, I think it was really beneficial for Caleb. I'm feeling good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's, he's, like, harmless generally and, like, funny. Uh, obviously, that's why I love him. That's why I love Dale. It's also really funny when he gets like super, super serious about whatever the fuck he's like talking about. He is built like jank. He, uh, ultimately, like the biggest harm is, is basically when he, you know, if anybody tries to fucking follow his advice and then they die, that's when he will be harmful, but. Tactical. 
Yeah, I would say it was very tactical overall. I learned a lot of new things. Again. And he also <laughs> learned that the gun disarms worked. Unironically, that was a lot more effective than I expected it to be, for sure. I think you would be the worst target to rob now. <laughs> so if I ever turn to a life And now he is the worst target to rob now that he's been trained. Yeah. But especially him. Especially I can him. tell. Him. Yeah, this guy's nuts now. He's if always, I can, if I can see it. <laughs> Thanks again. Right. I really do yeah, appreciate thank it. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity, guys. Of course. Okay, now I gotta watch the fucking OG Charlie video where I was an extra in the Hunger Games mocking Jape. Clickbait. The legend Dale of Detroit Urban Survival Training. The most dangerous man on earth. Detroit's Batman. The only guy that could disarm God himself. I saw him with Pokey's hair. No, it looks cool. <laughs> it was I'm cool. telling you, it's it I mean maybe not that shape, you know. You could add some depth. You I literally have more volume. I look that. like I'm calling every manager. <laughs> like there is not a manager. <laughs> There's not a manager in California I will not call with his hair. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos.